Oh, that's a great shot. Absolute beauty there from Alison Waters. Really stunned that ball into the front backhand corner. The, uh, the, the traffic issues. Yeah. That's another thunderous kill into that front left corner from Goha. Yeah, she's starting to find her targets, which is always very dangerous with Goha. Oh no! Oh, oh. I thought she was going <laughs> to have a little. I thought she was going to dive from the floor, <laughs> she if it's possible. About it. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Well, there's been more decisions in this first game than we've seen all tournament, the I think. entire tournament, that's right. Oh, wow. my word. <laughs> what a finish. <laughs> that Take was that. an absolute rocket. It was an angry finish, wasn't it? She couldn't have hit that any more accurately. Ma, what a way to pinch <laughs> the first game. She's catching side wall a little bit, not quite getting her angle with cross courts. It's causing huge amounts of problems. Playing into the hands of Gohart. It's a bit of a slide again there from Goha. better she got the right line on the forehand there and that opened up the opportunity yeah great disguise and she really buried Alison Waters in that back corner on the previous shot. And she thought it was going there again. Can Alison Waters force a tie break? And you can see how important that was for Noran Goha. Recovery. Drop. Wasn't a bad boast. Yeah, she was at stretch when she played it. Very simple, it's all she needed. Yeah, nicely faded across the front wall there, uh, away from Noran Gohart. Oh, that's, that's a superb drop shot. Much better. Great rally there. Alison Waters fully in control of that rally. Much more accuracy. That's another error from Noran Gohart. And Alison Waters finds herself with four game balls to pull a game back. And there it is. Slightly rattled looking Noran Goha with real clinical accuracy. Oh, it's brilliant. 
lob nowhere near high enough from Gohart. But very coolly taken. Yeah, great change of direction. I mean, how many times have we seen her put that straight volley drop in from there? Goha having to have that covered. Well, that's two game balls have disappeared quickly for Alison Waters. And that's good enough, and she's taken that fourth game. Tens times here. She didn't really commit to it for me. Well, Gohart has got exactly the start that she wanted. Mm. Brilliant. Oh, it's nice. Cross court not wide enough from Gohart. Yes. Another thumped straight forehand drive. And that error gives three match balls to Egypt. Well, it was littered with refereeing decisions from start to finish that match. And it finishes on a stroke to Noran Goha. But all that matters to Team Egypt is that they have taken that opening match in 56 minutes. Noran Goha beats Alison Waters 11-9, 11-9, 6-11, 7-11, 11-7. -11, we are now into the second match of this Women's World Team Championship final. Beautiful hit in there from the Egyptian. Just that ever so slight hold. Yeah. Yeah, he could uh, pull some outrageous stuff out of the bag, Shaban it. Good guess from Masaro. But she's still on the end of the rally. Oh, another stunning finish in that front left corner from the Egyptian racket. Holds seven game balls for Egypt. And that error from Masaro confirms it is first blood to the Egyptians in this number one string match. Good, lengthening out the court. Five, That's another surge from Egypt. Just hit so many winners there already. Oh, 
was a great rally, great squash from both players. Well, it was a clearly a huge point, that one, Vanessa. And that's going to be too good as well. With that cross court faded. Oh, that backhand is just ridiculous. You can sometimes get a few. <laughs> Just pluck it out of the air. So relaxed. She's edged her nose in front. Pull one back. Oh, what a time to pull that out of the bag. Laura Massaro carving that ball into the front left corner. Aggressive body language as she moved into the front there. And just cut that ball into perfection. Beautiful. <laughs> well, this is another run of play from Renimo Walili. And three point lead here at 5 2 in the fourth. Well, she's had to get through a little bit of uh, turbulence there to play that shot. there just went a bit too fine so oh Walili edging ever closer to victory that lapsing concentration from Laura Massaro gives Raneem opportunity uh, Raneem El Walili seven opportunities and there it is what a performance there from Raneem El Walili she absolutely dominated that fourth game. Some superb squash throughout the match. Laura Massaro dug deep, never ever stopped pushing. But Renimo Walili takes that match and the World Championship title back to Egypt. And in a 37 minute match there, Renimo Walili takes a four game win, 11 3. 11-8, 9-11, 11-3.